Here is looking really good. It's looking like it's gonna go. Some well, I guess we're leaving that one. By so, anyways, this gearbox is out. Um, you can kind of hear it grinding there, so we gotta replace it. So uh, today we are, or I went over to Wally's and I had to spray a little bit uh, volunteer corn and Johnson grass. So I got that taken care of. I'm now on my way back to the farm. Uh, and then hopefully I can finish pulling everything together before I have to leave. But we are going to a concert tonight up in uh, St. Louis, I guess. I don't know. It, it's been a crazy week, absolutely crazy week for me. Uh, we've been running around, bouncing off the walls, been a little bit everywhere, and uh, I'm ready to leave because next week we're coming back to cutting wheat. I'm gonna take me a little two day vacation and then we're gonna come back, cut wheat, and then we leave again and go to uh, Kentucky Lake for the 4th of July. And then we leave again two weeks after that, we're going down to Dallas, Texas. Uh, so anyways we're going to try and pull my life together here for the last three hours I gotta be at the farm for this week before I come back tomorrow tomorrow I'm gonna come back home hopefully be here by like a little bit before noon and then I'm gonna go buy a side-by-side -side and then hopefully bring it home we can go look at it go run around in it for a little bit then uh, yeah so anyways, yeah, it's been kind of a crazy week. I've been on nothing but the phone. And of course, you know how it is. My phone don't work anymore. So that's why I got my AirPod in because this is how I got to talk on the phone. Because uh, my, whatchamacallit stopped working. So apparently this weekend here, we're supposed to get quite a bit of rain. Um, I'm kind of driving around right now trying to get a game plan for Monday. Because I'd say in the morning I'll go spray and then in the afternoon I'll go cut wheat. But uh, it does seem like we will be cutting wheat next Monday. If that doesn't start later today, whenever we're all gone, that wouldn't surprise me. But uh, it is, I think it's still too wet. I think the wheat will come off right now at about 25, 28%. So uh, we aren't in that big of a hurry. It's still looking like we're gonna have some dry weather as long as the, uh, as long as the weatherman predicted right and said that we, or, well, I ain't even gonna say hey, hey, Oh, that's a, that's a drop off. Um, yeah, anyways, we should be fine for now, but it's hard telling what that means about the next month. So, I have kind of just been, I have not been in this direction like at all since the crops started growing. So, I figured it'd probably be a good idea to come down here and check out some things look around a little bit well I had a chance today for the most part some of this corn looks good uh, some of it looks like it could use some roundup especially this field right here I can see it from here so I'll have to have Ross come down and spray roundup on it here by tomorrow or something oh, I'm tired I need a nap so this year I'm actually really impressed. Usually I have a lot more volunteer corn than what I have seen so far. And now I probably just jinx myself and I'll come down here on Monday and I'll have to do double what I thought I would. But so far, I mean like this time of the year, normally I'd have about, not not including Illinois, I mean everything down in our area south of Vincennes. Um, you know, I kind of always thought, I've always went through about probably a thousand the 1500 acres worth of volunteer corn chemical and this year it's looking like i'm only gonna have to go through about five to six hundred so that ain't that bad i think it might have to do with how early we planted and how cold it was whenever it started out but i really do not know it might also have something to do with the combine you can definitely tell a difference in where dad had started with the 780 versus the 680 uh, i think a lot of that has to do with the uh insides of the combine i mean usually you'd look out across this field and you'd see it all the way through there and 
I don't know. I mean, really, the only places that you can see it is on the ends or where you might have slowed down a little bit. So, I don't know. Don't look that bad. I will give John Deere probs on that. The 780 does a lot better job than the 680s did. And uh, we'll actually go look at the field where we switched it at. And, uh, yeah. That'd be a good title for this video. 680 versus 780. Hmm. Yeah, that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. But, I mean, so far from what I can tell, it looked like it was not throwing out a bunch out the back last year. I mean, most of what we have is along the edges, and a lot of that's uh, head shattered, what comes off the head, whenever he's making his turns and stuff like that. So, I don't know. It's hard to tell him. Here is looking really good. It's looking like it's going to go sometime soon. Still kind of green, but it ain't bad. I've seen it greener down here. We've cut it greener, that's for sure, but I don't know. I ain't gonna say nothing yet because I know how that river works. So we're gonna keep going back here. I got a cornfield in the back here that I wanna look at, check out. Yeah, the air conditioner's not working in this truck again, so don't bug me about holding my foot out the window. But yeah, we're all the way back in the bottoms right now. So this field here, it was cut, or it was picked with the uh, 680, and we had stopped using the 680 right down here, about three quarters of the way down. So we'll see. I'd seen it the other day. I don't know if you can still see the line or not. It really depends on how Dad had the combine set. Okay, so there's still a couple things volunteer corn out there and then it just disappears just your normal one or two every little bit so I thought that was neat and then you can tell as he goes through there that way you can tell it gets better I don't know I might have to mess around and go buy another 780 now don't look that bad would have mind to have another one or two more who knows but uh some of the neighbors down here they got some issues of their own with some volunteer corn that's the worst part about this time of the year is is like you're trying to do everything else in this time of the year everybody has volunteer corn issues i mean it don't matter who you are you got volunteer corn issues looks like they got a little bit of mare's tail and horse weed out there it, it's just there is no right way to do it but oh well so this morning i'm going through this combine <clears throat> i'm gonna check everything make sure i got everything where it needs to be crop diverter is good I'm using my phone oh dad's calling me now that looks like it needs to be switched I'm gonna switch out here in a second. Better answer dad. Well, um, I went and got, or me and dad and Adrian and a couple of the other guys here at the farm I had to go down and uh, work on one of the pumps on the river. Uh, we just got back here. I fell in the river. So yeah, my feet are soaked. And now we get to go up to John Deere and get the other tractor. So we're gonna go get or we're gonna go get this one, unhook it from the grain cart, and then go up to John Deere and get the other one, hopefully. Or at least that's the plan. I don't know, I gotta take some stuff out of it still, so. Yeah, we didn't think we'd have it this early. We really didn't know either. But that tractor is going bye bye. Park in the old one. There's the new one, right there. So we gotta transfer fuel over because we thought we was gonna have to use it this wheat harvest. Once we get fuel transferred over into the, from this one into that one, uh, we'll take that other one home. So I got John Deere out this morning, work, or this afternoon here. They're working on the uh, one of the combines. It, I don't know what it was doing, but apparently the globe needed updated again. So we had to get it updated. And then, yeah, so they're gonna go through and check everything else too. I'm gonna go see how wet it is, like the ground wise. 
because I might try and spray here after a bit because we ain't gonna be able to cut wheat for another hour, hour and a half. So it doesn't hurt to go see if I can't find something else to do for a little bit while we're waiting. But I just had to go down the house and give me a bottle of water. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, I guess we're leaving that one behind. Poor old girl. Well, guess we gotta find another new one now. Oh, wait a minute. We're in a new one. Okay, the first thing I do immediately notice is, is this thing does ride a lot better. Uh, I'd say that the hydro cushion suspension underneath the front of it really does help out a lot. I was kind of skeptical as to how much it helped with these 9Rs and really smooth them up, but it helps out a lot. Um, I don't think that this one has cap suspension on it. The other ones are supposed to, but we'll find out later today whenever we get to cut some wheat with it, hopefully. But, I mean, so far it, it does. It rides really nice. Granted, I haven't hooked it up to anything, but... It rides nice. It's, I'm going to try and mess with the manual suspension here in a minute and see what that does. But it's got two screens in it, which we'll probably take that screen and put it in something else like Dad's player tractor or Sean's player tractor or something. This one also does have the Bluetooth radio in it. We got the Midland radio in here too now. And uh, yeah, this one also has a Category 5 hitch on it. So that'll be nice too. We needed to get that years and years ago. We needed to get away from them smaller hitches. So this category five hitch is a lot stronger and hopefully it'll hold up to what we need it to and we'll find out I guess this fall. Do, 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 do. Get out of the way. The other thing I do notice about it right away is, is these mirrors. I like these mirrors a lot. Now there are on the 8R2, but these mirrors are a lot better. So <coughs> we'll pull it up here to shop show the guys so uh, we're having a problem with the irrigation out here I think I know what it is because I pulled this one out last year but dad wanted me to come check so I'm coming down here to check for him and then we'll probably have to go get one of the sprayers and pull it out because I guarantee it's stuck almost guarantee it and it looks like it too because of how it's sitting but we haven't thrown any blocks in this out here yet, so this ground right here is low and it's real soupy, so it can get pretty bad. I would almost put $100 on it, but that's what it is. It's stuck in a hole right here. Yep, it's stuck. Well, maybe not. Yeah, it's just barely stuck. So I got Ross sitting up there at the pivot. I'm gonna call him and have him turn it on. This one might walk out of it, so we'll try it. Yeah, we got a gearbox out out here. Uh, the last one so that one's good all right now stop go back the other way i'd like to get out of this hole before i change the gearbox but i don't think that's going to happen Oh. Yeah, you can tell this new box is out. Go back the other way.
Come on, you got it. You got it. You're there. Come on, keep her going. Stop. I hit start again. <laughs> well, um, you might as well just go ahead and hit stop. This ain't going anywhere. It's just gonna dig a hole. So. All right, well, we got we got a gearbox out out here. I'll be there to pick you up here in a minute, Ross. All right, we're going to come change it tonight. Uh, I doubt it because it's raining. All right. All right, bye. Bye. So, anyways, this gearbox is out. Um, you can kind of hear it grinding there, so we got to replace it. The problem with having these bigger tires on here, this is like a 40-inch tire or something like that. It's a pretty good-sized tire compared to them. Those are, or wait a minute, no, you get the idea. These are like twice the size. The problem with these big tires is, is for one, you can't really get a handyman in it on, on this ground to pick it up enough to get the tire off. Number two is, these gearboxes go out all the time. I probably could have told you that from coming out here that it was going to be that gearbox. Or it was going to be hung up, in which it is hung up because that gearbox is out. So we're gonna have to bring down another gearbox we'll probably have to bring down one of the sprayers too to get it out here and some blocks and we'll basically just take the blocks and stack them in there so then that way the tires can grab on something instead of having that problem we then would not have to worry about it so i'm gonna walk back to the pickup go pick up ross and then find a way to get a hold of dad and figure it out i guess but that's a ford gearbox i don't know we'll have to figure it out but yeah, so it's part of it. First load's going on the new tractor.